Hey guys, Doug Wagner here, and today I'm going to show you a new innovative way to store your ripping wraps as well as your jigging wraps, your shiver minnows, and your Johnny darters in a new high tech case that makes an old box like this a thing of the past. And the cool thing with this box is each bait has its own individual slot, all right, its own individual compartment. This here is a just in case tackle box made by Bob Schmidt out of Minnesota, and I'm going to show you guys some really cool new features. How a box like this is going to replace your old box like that. If we start up at the front, uh, there's a really cool handle design. If you guys can see, this handle here kind of lays flat. If you pull up on this, you can have your old, your own way to carry this box around, right? If, if you're putting this in your boat or putting things on top of it, push down on this, it stores flat out of the way. Now, what else we have up here? Stainless steel latches. Um, Bob only uses the best components for, for the stuff that he makes. And now this lid is gonna open up to the back. If you look inside here, we have 108 individual compartments, okay? 108 rip and wraps in this box. This emptied about three planos for me, all right? That I have stacked full of rip and wraps. Um, and each one, like I say, has its own individual slot. So, boom, out. No tangle, no mess. Your standard tackle box, we can open up over here. Like, oh, man, I, I wanna throw this color right here. Oh wait, give me, a, give me a minute, I kinda gotta untangle these, whereas you have individual, ready to go, no wasted time, right? So, that part is really nice, and as well as you know, not having tangle issues, when this lid closes and these stainless steel latches pinch down on here, the lid actually pinches down on the hooks. So, it's pushing down on them, so there's no way for those hooks to come off. You can flip this thing upside down, Back, forth, back, forth, okay? All my baits are still hanging perfectly. Right across the lake, that top hook is not moving. Okay, there's only so much space for these baits to move in this compartment as well. So number seven rip and wraps, which I have all on the outside here, it's, it's just big enough to fit one because the less space you have around it, the less space there is for that bait to move, for your custom colored paint jobs to get wrecked, all right? These baits here are literally an investment for me. Um, on Green Bay, our fish love custom colors, and what baits used to cost six to eight dollars now cost twelve to fourteen dollars. So just in this box alone, I have well over a thousand dollars worth of custom colored baits. For these to be bouncing around in a five dollar tackle box, get chipped up, tangled up, um, and just you know ruin the paint job or the finish that I paid for, eventually is going to lose me money. So making an investment with a box like this is really nice. Um, Bob has been in the business for well over 10 years, knows it inside and out. He started with musky boxes to protect that large investment, and he extended boat decks and you know advanced storage of people's boats to make the most out of their confined area. So I've always said if, if you can dream it, Bob can build it as far as tackle storage. He also did the same thing for jigging wraps, shiver minnows, Johnny darters. He makes a box specifically for those as that new technique of shivering has kind of taken over. And the plastic tails on those baits are, are really fragile. And if, if that gets broken off, that bait is, is garbage, it's useless. So you might not even get to fish that bait if it's broken your tackle box before you have a chance to use it on your boat right out, when your boat's on the trailer, going down the road, whatever it may be. Um, but he makes one specifically for that. Again, a smaller size compartment than these, so there's less space for them to move as well as you know the same layout with the same system as far as the top, pinches down on the hooks, everything's clear, you can see your colors, looking through the box, see what you got, which ones you want. There's so many um, you know, different components to this box that Bob has thought of. If we look at the bottom here, each one of these compartments has its own hole drilled in it. So now if you take the new tackle boxes that have the sealed storage, well you put a wet bait in there, leave it sitting there for a few days, eventually that's gonna rust. You've got all that moisture in there, it can create mold, and then you're gonna have rusted hooks, rusted split rings, um, and again, your investment is, is kinda of wrecked. Whereas this one, Bob's got these nice feet on here, so the, baits, the box is elevated, and then there's air channel for each bait, so there's air movement through there, things are gonna dry out, they're not gonna rust, they're not gonna mold. 108 slots, 108 holes. This, it, this box is just incredible, the, what, what he's done with it. And I, I'm really happy with it. Uh, we went through a few different test models and, and came up with this one as a final. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. I hope I can get this in some of the local tackle shops around Green Bay here. If not, 
you guys can get a hold of Bob. I'll leave a link in the description below to his website and his phone number. Um, you can give him a call. Bob will answer the phone. You can talk to him yourself. Maybe you want a rip and wrap box. Maybe you want a jig and wrap box. Maybe you want a musky box, fly boxes. The guy makes everything. And so hopefully you guys like the new box. Wanted to show it to you. I think it's super cool. A really great way to store your tackle, especially your rip and wraps and the custom painted stuff to protect your investment. And remember, this can go so much further than just open water fishing. Ice fishing is incredibly rough on tackle and tackle boxes, sliding across the ice, your, your box is bouncing around in a sled. So if you're more than just open water, look into it to protect your investment for your next fishing adventure. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.